And we are back. We saw us catch that stingray on our last video. Today is about cleaning it. I want to kind of teach you the way I like to clean the stingray. There's a couple different ways to do it. This is just the way I prefer. First thing is, after they've been out of the water and they sit and got them on ice, they come up with this slime. Like catfish and everything else, they have this slime that forms. It is disgusting. So what I'm going to do, take my little pressure washer jet nozzle. I'm just going to clean him off. Put him on my cooler there. On the top. Now I'm going to flip him over and I'm going to take care of the bottom of it. Set my nozzle down. Easiest way to grab him, right there. Flip him on over. He got his mouth on the back side there. Watch out for that tail. Flip him around. And go again. Okay, right, so as you see, we got this nice thing right the other day. Got him hosed down. On the stingrays, the first thing I always try and tell the kids, the reason we've told them, get away in the boat. That is the barb. That will hurt you. It's serrated, very thin serrates, hard. But also around it on the tail, little tiny spikes everywhere. So if it slaps you with the tail, it's going to hurt. Come up, got little tiny ridges right here on the back. You can, here, that's a hard plate. First thing you clean it, and the way I like to do it is I simply take my hand, I'm gonna find the edge of this plate. So you can see kind of a line here. It's hard to see on camera, I'm sure, but you got the edge of that fin right there. And this is tough, so pretty much gotta get your knife down in here, and you're just gonna find it. You can kind of feel hard plate right there. You just wanna work your way around, because what we're trying to do is get the fins off of it. Once you get to the end, step to the side, now there I actually got to come out a little further just like that So what we're going to do, when we go down in here, first thing we'll notice, and I'll pull a little section of meat out here, that was right on the edge, the meat is fibrous, very fibrous, but delicious, so even a little nugget like that, we're not wasting. The hard part is, there is a cartilage plate, and then you got the internal organs, so you got to find, there you go, got through the plate, and as I say, you got to have a good knife. Once again, I'm using my Danko. And you get through that, that plate, and you got to really work to get through that plate. But once you get through it, you can get one whole wing off on each side, and it makes everything much easier to work with because then you're basically working with two big slabs. Um, I got a little too close on this one, got into the internal organs, which I didn't want to do. But I'm just going to come around it right there. And there's that cartilage plate. And there's our first slab off. So I'm gonna take that slab and I'm gonna set it off to the side for a minute. As you can see on here, a little bit of meat left on there. On one this big, you can actually come up in here and get another strip. It's just a matter of feeling where the plates are on the stingray itself. So that gives you, an, if you wanted to. And that's where, there's your line, because now you can see the gills and everything else. So I'm not gonna worry about trying to get any more off, because that one's where his line's at right there. So. This one, do the same thing on the other side. Come back. I'll try and follow, find that line. Get through that cartilage plate. Curve around the front there. Rip the knife through. Make sure we get through that whole line there. All the way through it. Right. Yeah. All right. 
keeps flipping the tail at me. And there's our second big plate. So this part here, it actually gets discarded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set them down over here out of the way for a minute. We're gonna back that up later. I'm gonna rinse off my cutting board and then we'll come back and fillet those out. All right, so we got that taken care of. Now we got our rinsed off everything again. Now we got our two big slabs here, our two wings. Um, what you're going to notice the first one, you're looking close here on the wing, you can see it's got the layer of skin, thick layer of meat, that's your cartilage layer, and then a nice layer of meat. The bottom side is always the thinner side. I'm going to go ahead and start with the bottom. Best way to do it that I have found, there's multiple ways. One way is to trim the edges out here and fillet it. I usually leave that intact. And I just come in here at the cartilage using my knife. And you're going to use that cartilage like you would a backbone on a fillet on another fish. You got right there on the bottom side, always has to deal with stuff. You're going to just kind of find that cartilage line. The back is a little bit trickier. Cartilage line tip disappears as you get to the edge. If you can find that cartilage line with your knife point, you just keep that knife point down on that cartilage line. Run it all the way out to the edge. And just take it a little bit at a time. A good knife, like my Danko, makes a big difference. And just work it around. And you can see that's all that rib cartilage. We're just gonna peel this thing right back. That's why I say that's why I don't worry about trimming the wings at the edges because I let the knife do it as I'm going along, like this, and it gives it a little bit extra to hold it so it doesn't flop around on me. And like I say, the bigger they are, this is a great size right here. They're great fight, fun for everybody, as you saw in the video, pulling it in. Good meat off of it. Any bigger than this, you really, really, really are working. Any smaller than this, it's really hard to clean. I say we catch smaller ones, we throw them back quite a bit just because they're fun, fun to catch, but the smaller they are, like a lot of things, it isn't always the most fun to clean when they get too tiny. So now we can come, see I've almost got that one through. Just slide it forward on my cutting board and just keep rolling it back. I'm just gonna let it chase it until the meat runs out. And the meat, like I say, it comes in ribs almost. It's just lines of meat. They're not like other fish. And once you get to the end, from here it just kind of peel out. Now, we have that piece right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one, move it over here off to the side. This one right here on my board. Now we gotta simply fillet this out. And I say simply, but this is the hard part. Dealing with the cartilage is the easy part. Dealing with the skin on the fillet is a little bit harder. Harder than a normal fish? Depends on the type of fish. It's 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 a silkier skin, it's a very silky, smooth skin, so it tends to want to slip and slide on you. It's a matter of getting a good grip on it, getting a hold of it trying to work it a little at a time. This, you can see, ideally this is a nice seven inch knife. If I had a bigger knife, it'd be great. Sometimes you can get really lucky, and this one's not gonna do it. Sometimes you can get lucky and you can peel the skin. This one's not peeling, so we're filleting. If you peel it and it doesn't peel, you'll see it won't do to separate. Just stop. Come back. Stop trying to fly away from me. You gotta understand when you're doing stingrays, it's a lot, if you ever done flounder, it's a lot like doing with flounder. I know a lot of people out there have done flounder fishing. You know, it's that same thin meat, smooth skin, delicate meat. Chunk that away. Pull it off and lay it out. Put a little nugget in the bucket. This matter, like I said, now the fillet is getting less than the skin, so I'm going to flip it around and pull the skin versus pulling on meat.
now you can see why we did a two-part video and did the cleaning on this whole separate video because it as delicious as the meat is it does take time to clean it right and do the stingray right and do it justice um, you'll see me here i'm going to separate this out a little bit more so we got nice big loins there come up like that it's easier to cook and clean later also by doing that look me some smaller sections to kind of lay out easier to work with now i'm not doing such a that big old flap i'm doing more manageable pieces what was it caden said earlier Oh uh, yeah, my daughter Cadence, if y'all seen, she's, she wasn't feeling good on the boat yesterday, so he, she didn't get on catching the stingray, but she is most definitely looking forward to eating. She had stingray with us before, back here at Christmas. And was very excited to get to eat it again. So, she didn't get to help catch it, but she was really ready to cook it up. So you'll probably see her in the kitchen with us later. Or if you watched the other video, before. All right, so now we have back to our slab again. This is the one we started with a second ago. So I'm going to do now. He is suction cup to my board here. Flip him around. Now that cartilage line is on the bottom again. Just like we did before. We'll find our cartilage line. that line of cartilage. Right there where some of those internals were, there's almost a bony like structure. Just kind of work through that. We'll trim that up a little in a little bit after we get through this initial. section we were working with a second ago. It's got that where the internal organs were. So we've got to find the route through there basically. There's some big cartilage pads in there. We're going to go up around. Trim those out of there. If you can hear that in the background, my neighbor is working on his boat. If we've inspired him or if it's just this time of year but he's been out there playing with it today getting to run and him and a friend
end right there. That off. Nice big chunk. We'll cut that in wow. pieces. Forward with just a little edge piece here. y'all watching hope you enjoyed the stingray video um, we had a blast out on the boat had a great time reeling in these truckers in it's fun eating them is delicious um, if you want to see more videos where we do a detailed cleaning just let us know and hope you enjoy it we'll see you next time remember watch enjoy like hit that thumbs up send us out to your friends share the video out and above all subscribe We'll see you on the next one.